the Poseidon Games. Using science and technology, man has always pushed the limits and the norm. Since 2012, a new high adrenaline water sport has taken the world by storm and the sport of hydroflight has grown in popularity. The sport has attracted not just enthusiasts and adrenaline junkies, but it's entertaining for the general public, making it one of the most exciting new sports developed in the last decade. At the Intercontinental Sanctuary Cove Resort on Australia's Gold Coast hosted the first of four events which make up this year's Poseidon Games. With competitors hailing from America, Australia, Canada, the Maldives, Bermuda, Russia and the Czech Republic, the world's top riders were in town looking to impress the crowds on their hydroflight devices. Following this opening event in Australia, the tour will make its way to Bermuda and New York before its conclusion in September in Singapore. Actually, Poseidon Games is our first sporting event. An open competition was something that wasn't happening in the market, and we wanted to create something different, something exciting. Savvy is all about new experiences, unique events, excitement, and bringing something different to different countries and different uh, markets. So when we did the test run, Battle on the Rock, in August in Bermuda, and it was such a success and everyone was so excited about it, we said, you know, why not take this global? Why not make it something that everyone around the world can appreciate, all the riders can participate in, and give them a new something to strive for, something else to make it bigger than what it is. To spread competitions out throughout the seasons is a bit of a challenge, so we had to pick countries that were you know, nice weather during different times of year. Australia is definitely a great choice. We're so happy to be here for our first stop. Um, the weather's beautiful, the hotel is amazing, and our partners here, Jetpack Events, have been absolutely so supportive and so organized, and we just, we're just really thrilled to be here for the first event. So hit me. 32 riders took to the water in the pro men and women's division for so jetboards and in the open division for all devices like the jetpacks and jet bikes. Like an the been athletes have prepared a 90-second display which included four predetermined skills or combos which were submitted to the judges before the run. The rules are simple. Get on board, be creative, and do your best to impress the judges. Overall tour points are awarded according to the results at each of the four events, and at the end of the Poseidon Games season, the rider with the most points will be crowned Grand Champion and will claim the prestigious Trident Cup. The competition was fierce, approaching the conclusion of the competition, with all the riders pushing hard. In the final round, the top eight competitors had two opportunities to perform, with only their best run counting. American Ronnie Fisi successfully landed the first ever single and double front flip, but this still wasn't good enough to see him finish on top. 19-year-old Hunter Volander came through with an explosive and flawless display. He claimed the title in the men's pro division ahead of Fisi. It was an American clean sweep with third place going to Demoni Rippey. In what was a remarkably close competition, less than one point separated the top five finishers. I didn't know how that was going to, you know, quad versus double front flip. I didn't know, you know, how that was going to weigh out. So that's what really made me nervous. It was extremely intense. <laughs> The Gold Coast's very own Bridget Burt, in her first competition, secured top spot in the women's jetboard division. Russian Valeria Vershanina, despite achieving the best performance in the qualification round, finished second, followed by Bailey Butcher from the USA, who flew with jetboards for the first time just two weeks before the event. my first round I was actually pretty shocked at how I couldn't think properly and I couldn't move the way I normally move and do the tricks I normally do so it was a big shock to me and I was really disappointed with my first round 
Um, my second round, it was getting a little bit better, but still not to my normal standards. Eventually, I did push through to be what I expected to do in the first round, end up being my final round. So overall, I am happy the way I went for my first competition.